Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, give us a little update uh, on where everything is uh, coming into this uh, great weekend. Basil Chapman, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm well, thank you. Very good. good. In fact, um, this is you were just you were touching on the very things that the webinar that I'm going to have on Wednesday is coming Wednesday. You were saying that you did the analysis and you spoke and you said even even the XAU, even the there is there are still lagging stocks. There are stocks that are low down that if everything starts to move, these things could go very well. So I, I decided I would do a webinar uh, since we had already taken off in August, the, um, the late October low. Yes. That there are a lot of stocks that are way under their all-time highs. And these were good companies. So the lagging part of the market, and we need to see that for a rotation because That's right. uh, the, the Magnificent Seven, they might rest, but every time the market uh, rallies, they, they do participate. But when you've got the low price stocks or the lower uh, category stocks that are now playing catch up, that can be very exciting. And even I, I was just looking at this a moment ago. Look, here's the PPA on the left side. Is is whoops? I wrote, typed it in the wrong place. Let me show you. This is the PPA uh, is an ETF. This is a, an ETF. People don't talk about. It. It's the Invesco Aerospace and Defense uh, Portfolio. Okay. After yesterday, it hit an all-time high. So here you are. You've got this aerospace and defense, but you've got crude oil way down. From the the most recent, even the most recent highs in the in the 90s, and yeah, they are in the 60s. Well, Jets, Jets is the uh, U.S. global Jets ETF. For the, so, and look at this monthly chart; it is ugly. But look, the weekly is improving, and the daily is improved a lot. So, I wanted to have a webinar that says, uh, besides for for my subscribers, what we already own. And you mentioned Microsoft. We own my Microsoft from 338, and we added on on the on the, sh the dip yesterday uh, a trading position at the uh, 366 level, and yet it's 371. But that's that's almost like another category. The financials are just beginning to move, um, so this is actually a very exciting period. And you were talking about weekly charts. I mean, look, here's a weekly chart. Let's just go to the XLF, which has been lagging. Terribly, that's the S&P. Hey, hey, Basil, just, just, just hold that thought, okay? Uh, yes. Basil Chop and Tom O'Brien, okay? Basil is going to be doing a workshop for you folks, okay? Coming this December 20th, okay? It's for subscribers. It's very easy to get in this workshop, folks. You can test drive Basil's newsletter, 30 days absolutely free. Come over to our website, and as you're over there, this is the last weekend for Tiger Dollars, so check it out. Basil and I are going to be coming right back. We're talking markets, folks. Stay right there. Welcome back, folks, to Basil Chapman, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. And as you come over to our website, folks, you're going to see right into featured content. You know, we have the Tiger Dollar Sale going on, folks. This is the last weekend of the Tiger Dollar Sale. So the way the Tiger Dollar Sale works is that that's how we discount product at TFNN. You can buy $500 and you get a 20% bonus. We give you $600. Or you can buy 1000 and you get a 30% bonus. You get an extra 300 Thirty percent, and the max is you can buy fifteen hundred, which gets you an additional six hundred, which is a forty percent bonus. So that sale, if we do it twice a year, that's going to be over this weekend. And of course, as you're over there, you're going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Um, he is going to be doing a subscriber webinar, and this is going to be on Wednesday, December twentieth. And you just heard we're going to talk with Basil right now and what it's all about. But the bottom line is, is that you can subscribe to his newsletter right now. You can either get a month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%, and a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So you can take your choice. You're going to get a great newsletter. And, of course, Basil always, always does great workshops, and, he, and you also get the archives. He has about 12 archives out there. And, you know, you always seem to do them at the right time, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, no, because we're talking about the broadening. What we're talking about here, folks, right before the break, we're talking about the broadening out of the marketplace. And that's what does happen if, you know, you're going to stick to higher prices. Sector well. by sector, yes, correct. And, and the point that you made, which you so eloquently uh, just have been discussing for the last week or so, is the, the relationship of 
how the dollar was falling and therefore it should benefit gold. Uh, the, the yields started to come down and those house, I don't want to go into that because that's just another story entirely with housing stocks at all time highs. I mean, this is amazing. So what I Well, this is, you know, what's interesting, Basil, is that we've both been around a long time. This is one of the biggest dynamic shifts, okay, in the past 30 years, folks. This is not, you know, actually 40 years, okay? This is not, you know, when I've been explaining it on the air that it's a dynamic shift. You don't go from zero to 5% and then you make a turn, okay? This is a, a very it's dynamic like shift. A super, it's a super tank, and when it finally turns, people don't realize that it actually turned. And right. that's the thing. You've got to identify it, yeah. So within that context, there are so many opportunities now uh, within sectors that are at lows and have come off their highs in the daily charts. And then you look at the weekly, and as I'm saying, you look at the monthly charts, and they, I mean, stocks, I mean, Shopify. I, I, actually, let me finish the thought of the XLF. Yes. So the XLF finally has broken out of the weekly chart. This big rectangle made this H pattern, and then it held the 200 period moving average as a weekly chart. Broke out. If you look at the uh, daily chart, there's a little tiny Joji. I've got a leg F. It says, all right, we could be getting a little toppy, but all the technicals are still very strong. And I mentioned the other day that in my, uh, I have this technique that I'll be discussing briefly because it has to show itself before you want to spend time on it. But I just want to say, I call this the dark news cloud cover. And that means that there's always something out there that the, the market likes to climb a wall of worry. But very often it just ignores that. But when that one thing that comes back starts to irritate the market, then all of a sudden you get these sharp declines. And we had that all of these, uh, I'll just move this away, all of this whole rectangle here from 2011, uh, sorry, 2022 in November, all the way through until this big break above the July uh, highs. Every time there was some bad news, it was rates, it was, uh, there were just numerous things that the market had ignored and then took very seriously. So this is the first time that those things, even this includes the dollar, are sort of, they're kind of in the background right now and the market's just ignoring it. So that's really important for this market to be able to garner the kind of strength that it hasn't had before. So that's number one. Number two is what you want to see, at least what I want to see, I want to see the financials participate. I don't believe a bull market really is a successful bull market unless those financials, the brokers, you, you just got to have them right in there. And so far, the S&P Select Financial Monthly Chart has just been the sideways move. This is the first time it's peaked above the, the, the high of, I think it was back in uh, uh, actually January of this year. So this is very important. So that's a breakout in, in the weekly charts. Uh, so the daily says, mm, I'm getting a little bit toppy. And the weekly chart says, what are you talking about? I'm just beginning to get some strength. So that's the, And then you go to the KRE. And this is the regional bank sector. KRE is just, they really got hammered every time something happened in the financial area. Now, why am I missing that? Oh, I put it on the wrong chart. There it is. Look, here's the KRE. And this is a very important index in that. The financials are the big broad. These are the money center banks, etc. But the S&P regional banking ETF, this is your core. This is the United States of America. This is where the money should be. And finally, there's been a decent rally. The weekly chart stopped dead at the 200 period moving average. The monthly chart just getting going. The daily chart says oh, a little bit overboard. So I want to point this out. I want to. I want my subscribers to be able to look at this and say, ah, there's still a lot of room for movement, and if there's a rotational correction, a high-level rotational correction, meaning that the stocks that have done extremely well are still holding, but they've kind of digesting the gains, getting sideways, pulling back a little bit. I want to see what happens with these lower-priced or lower these instruments that really didn't participate. So that's what it's going to be about. Uh, I've got a whole list of nice. certain stocks, certain categories. You can look at an ETF or you can look at the, the premier stock in that index or you could look at a laggard that always follows the leaders so you pay a lesser price but percentage-wise you can get a bigger bang for your buck. So it's, it's, a, it's going to be a fascinating time and a fascinating uh, webinar because the timing here, I think, kind of fits what we're looking at right now. 
And folks, it's very easy to come into the uh, webinar with Basil. Just come over to our website at TFNN, sign up for his newsletter now. And over the weekend, Basil always does a huge newsletter, okay? So if you do it now, folks, you're going to get that newsletter on Saturday or Monday morning, rather. Uh, and, you know, you are off to the races. And it is so intriguing. You know, the KRE, uh, Basil, which, and folks, which is such a trip, you know, they're the ones, folks, okay, they're holding all these bonds that the Fed let uh, basically not mark to market. And so with the interest rate structure going down, it would make sense that they're going up because the bottom line is that it'll take years, but they'll get back to even <laughs> on, on the bonds yeah, that they bought. I at, hope so. At, yeah, at, it's absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Well, they, 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 they will mm -hmm. because they, I mean, wouldn't it be great, Basil, if we never had a mark, mark, mark anything to market and then the Fed just keeps giving you money, man? <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, no folks. No responsibility, right? <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Well, listen, Basil, you have a great weekend, safe weekend. We look forward to the show uh, this coming Monday, man. Have a great one. And I'm, I'm looking forward to next week. It's going to be an Big interesting time. week. Thank you so much, Tom. Have a great Thank week. Thank you, man.